Hey, this is William Ramos with ViralHair.com. Today we are speaking to... Dan Chris from Dan Chris Games. Thanks, Dan. Now, you have, I understand you have your own game publishing company, right? Yes. Okay. What did it take to get started and get involved with the tabletop gaming industry? Uh, bad decisions, mostly. <laughs> uh, no, I just, uh, I've been playing games ever since I was a kid, and I love the idea of getting to make my own and share share my adventures with other people. So, uh, you know, I started making games for, for a long time, and then about 2009, I think, I started taking it really seriously, you know, trying to polish up my games, get them finished. And then I, in the end, I decided to do my own company because... Uh, you know, I didn't. I didn't have the the kind of resources to just go around all the conventions trying to catch companies and see if they were interested. And plus, I just wanted to, you know, more control over, you know, my my games and and all of the ins and outs and technical bits at the end. So uh, I figured I'd just give it a try myself. And uh, you know, like all strange decisions. <laughs> <laughs> now, something I, I was looking. Uh, Found out earlier is that you publish games for both adults and kids. What kind of led to that decision? Is just so families can do something, they can do something at parties. I mean, what was the kind of drive behind that? Well, I, I feel it's important, uh, especially as a company, to you know try to cater to as many different tastes as possible. But I myself have many different tastes, as we all do. So I mean, I'm a family man. I'm also a lover of things Lovecraft. I'm a lover of things fantasy. And so, you know, I, I make, basically in the end, I make games that I want to play. And uh, I figure if I want to play them, maybe someone else does too, you know. So I play them and play them and play them with people until I can make them as good as possible. And then, you know, try and get art for them and put them out. Thank so. you. Now, um, next question. You mentioned uh, Lovecraft, and that would tie into your Arkham Knights game, right? Uh, yes, and our game Cthulhu the Great Old One as okay, well. Okay, thanks. Now, since that idea of the Lovecraft mythologies between his giant monsters, his alienists. What was kind of the idea to, to kind of revisit that whole world? This has been done so much already. It has been done so much already, although to be fair, when I was making this game back in like 2011, 2012, it hadn't been done that much yet. Okay. <laughs> like, but then Kickstarter exploded and everyone made a Cthulhu game and, and it became uh, a running joke at that point. But that being said, I didn't make it for anybody else anyway. I made it for me. Uh, I love Lovecraft. I've got a number of different Lovecraft games in the works. That just seemed like the first one we'd be able to get like you know, the artwork for and put together. But, I mean, it's also meant to be a, a real tribute to his writings and to the, you know, the kind of genre of fantasy horror that he brought to the world. Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, in Cthulhu the Great Old One, there's a number of different images you know, of characters from his world where people from our own world who have helped keep those stories alive have been painted, you know, the, the characters have been painted to look like those. Like, uh, you know, for instance, uh, the, the director, Stuart Gordon, who's done a number of Lovecraft-themed movies based on some of Lovecraft properties, uh, we, we had the artist paint him up to look like uh, Zadok Allen uh, from Shadow Over Innsmouth. And so the Zadok Allen card looks sort of like Stuart Gordon because it's meant to, you know, and then there's right. other ones like that in there. I'll leave those for people to find out on their own for the fun of it, but, you know. So, and going on those lines about painting people into your games, um, is there anybody that you've, just for fun, put into one of your games because you just thought it'd be hilarious? I know this guy, he'd probably get a kick out of it. Just, just <laughs> your kind of thing? Oh, absolutely, of course. Uh, like, uh, I've got a number of my friends in my Tavern Masters game. Uh, one of the, uh, one or two of them actually, two of them now, have passed away, and so I found it as a kind of a way to do a little bit of a tribute for them, you know, uh, to to put them in the game there. But I, I love having you know friends and, and you know people I know drawn up and put in the game. It's just because it's fun, you know. Right. So. Where do you see your company going in the next couple of years? Uh, next couple of years, our plans are to grow and expand. I've got a number of board games I'm working on putting out. It's just a matter of getting all the art for it. Board games take a lot more art than card games usually. Right. You know, especially with the kind of games I make. They're very thematic, you know, very theme-driven. And so usually you need a lot of art to kind of carry across that theme and that feeling. It's not as simple as just having a couple of symbols and calling it done. But... Uh, you know, we're, we're over the next couple of years. We're going to be 
putting out more expansions for the games you already have and putting out you know new board games new card games uh, and any any other things we can think of you know fun accessories and stuff that kind of add to the gaming experience in general right. right we seek to be a lifestyle brand not just you know like brand of games but you know we like for for tavern masters for instance our game we have uh, a whole set of six different shot glasses we made for it and you can actually use them with the game as as kind of a, a notification kind of timing thing but at the same time you know it's also some cool shot glasses to have so <laughs> you know it, we, we like the idea of just you know making lots of fun stuff to you know it, to to decorate up the gaming life you know uh nerd culture i'm a proud nerd and geek all the way and uh Lord knows I love adorning my house with all kinds of wonderful gaming and fantasy stuff. and So I figure other people might as well. And where would someone find your games or interested in, in looking for them? Uh, well, most of our games are available. All, all of our games, main games, are available through distribution. Uh, so your local hobby shop should be able to order any of the stuff you're looking for. Uh, some of the more specialty accessories and some of the newest stuff. Uh, we, we have uh, on our website as well, uh, danchrisgames.com, uh, or you can go to like tavernmasters.com or cthulhutigu.com for the individual games. Uh, but then we have just, you know, different accessories and other items for sale on, on the site. And, um, and then, of course, we're trying to hit up what conventions we can, but usually they're ones closer here to Houston. So. Well, thank you for your time, Dan. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks so much for talking to me.